Yeah, that thing. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, uh, man. Let's just go over here and see what's going on. Hey, hey guys. I want to ult fire you. It's apparently D. No, nope. been taken out. That's quite a severe explosion. <laughs> Oh man, that's fun. That's really cool. Well, there, there you go. I mean, that's a good example of how the how the game plays out. Uh, it's gonna, it's I think it's gonna be a bit more difficult to do things. But now that I know that that's how it works, it makes it a little bit easier to understand. So we'll try again. Uh, Return to Galactic War. This one's gonna be archived because we died. We don't have any additional commanders. It's all, uh, it's all just nothing. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go with number three. <laughs> uh, new War. Uber Absurd 3. Abs the, the Absurderer. <laughs> Uber Absurd 3. The Absurderer. There we go. Perfect. Uber Absurd. Maybe it was the, the fact that we were pink last time that actually means that we can win this. Let's go with that. Let's go with that as an idea. Uh, I don't think that we're going to go with anything above and stop it and tidy up, dude. Because I think he's definitely the best one out of the lot. <laughs> he's a lot of fun. Really? Get out of here, you stupid video. Okay, there we go. We are now in. We have two fights that we want to do, that it wants us to do straight away. Or we can head out to here and get ourselves advanced defenses. Well, that's good. We can start using pelters and stuff again. Come for that. New technology found. Got combat tech, sure, whatever. I don't even know what that is, but that's fine. We're just going to go through with it. New a data bank, good, okay. This is good. This is going to be a better game New this time. Acquired. Storage compression tech, which is that Searching. additional space, I think. New Air tech, found. nice, okay. Okay, so we're going to head back. Which was this one? Basic air tech, and this was the doubles the metal and energy storage on all commanders and storage structures adds in blueprints for storage structures okay that's fine we might get rid of that if we need to Scanning system. New oh our data bank it looks like we don't need to actually get rid of anything so far which is good what's here New naval fire. well we'll take it we're probably not going to use it we'll probably change out for something else New technology found. basic vehicle we don't do we have Big factories are built by your commander on any basic fabricator. I thought that we had like that anyway because we did, did. We not. We didn't have that last time, did we? But we had the advanced one, so I don't. I don't think we need to get that one. I'm pretty sure that we also we already have it. We'll find out when we get into a game. But I'm pretty sure we already get basic there. Oh, advanced air tech. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We've got all of our awesome air units now. This is going to be great. New a data acquired. bank. Thank you very much. New acquired. Oh, air armor. We're going to be in air fight here, guys. Searching. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, it's a duplicate tech, so we don't need to worry about that one. I think that we're we're set. I don't think we can actually go anywhere else. So we've got delium, delium. Kappa Grenorium. We'll go with Kappa because it's only like a one planet system. Kappa, Grim Kappa Geminorium. Geminorum. Is it Kappa Geminorum? Yeah. Kappa Geminorum system was the home of the wealthy industrialist and creator of the Synthvic Duals module. Yi Zing purchased the system for an undisclosed amount of money from the Progenator Coalition government. Zing used his vast wealth to essentially create his own freehold. The system remained closed to all but Zing's family and closest friends and business associates. It was not until the Procom War that Zing offered his resources towards the defeat of the Machine Liberation Army. His inventions, including a superior model of his famous Synth Vituals module, helped to halt the MLA advance. Fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. That's awesome. So we're going to go with this, we're going to run this as our final attempt to play an absurd mode game and if it doesn't work this time then we will probably have to leave the game until the next update comes out when they actually spend a bit of time fixing 
the AI system so we can go back down to normal mode and not have a very very easy game but that's fine because there's plenty of other content that's going out on the channel as it is at the moment anyway including the hearthstone content which I'm having a lot of fun playing and hopefully you guys are having a lot of fun watching not to mention the zoo cast uh, and the vaults of fight which is going out tonight Benny boy 529 I hope you're looking forward to that uh, I'm gonna change to the true north we can go here with True North, we can go with here for True North. I think I prefer the idea of being here. Metal is low. Well, there's no point in telling me metal's low, because I'm not there yet. <laughs> we'll go with this one. I think this is probably a better place. Bam. Okay. You coming in? Yeah, you are coming in. Okay. So we're just going to literally just build one of those. We're going to build just like one of these somewhere. Like over here, somewhere probably. Oh, that did I just build when I left? Click that button. Yeah, see, we have we have basic vehicle factory on the commander anyway, so we don't need to even worry about that. It's a bit weird that that happens, but who knows? Who knows why? Uh, now we're gonna probably try to build the air factory to sort of back a little bit, so here will be good. Because we're probably gonna have like um, gun defense systems up here, I reckon, probably. Something along those lines would probably work out a bit better than anything else. I'm trying to space things out a little bit so that we can actually do the advanced energy and advanced metal stuff that we are we are doing. Uh, Vaults is tonight, yes, every Monday and then Friday, so uh, I'm sure you guys will look forward to that. Benny Boy, I will give you a little hint about what's happening later on. Uh, it's the season finale tonight. The season finale of Vultified. Uh, so that's going to be pretty fun. So hopefully you're going to be looking forward to that. We don't actually want this basic air tech. We just want the advanced air tech. But what I'm going to just do is get this guy and just be like, right, build here, 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 and here. And he's just going to get on with it. And that's 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 what we want. We want him to just get on with it. We've got some any contact straight away. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building the air defenses that we wanted to build. Now we're going to go with like a four there to start off with. With uh, what was that? Uh, no, that's fine. And then we're going to just actually do the land ones in front of those, uh, which we can just do like that there. And then that should take care of that. And what we'll do is we'll have him assist that one, him assist that one. And then we're going to just start to build a couple more of these energy plants, but have them, again, a bit more spaced out. Is that energy storage? Yeah, no, we don't want energy storage, we want energy plants. So one here. More energy is required. One here. One here, like this. One here. And one here. And that'll be fine. I thought we had the, the uh, advanced um, effect, the, the advanced defences, but I think it might actually might be artillery instead, so we might not actually get a chance to do what we wanted to do with that. Which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. We can always try and build all of these bastards whilst we're waiting for that to happen. That's fine. Once we've got the energy sorted out, then we're going to be in a much better position to take care of things, so we can do that. Just keep on focusing on this in the meantime. Can we get everybody to focus on one real quick? Just so we can get it up. And then we can have everybody focus on another one. And we'll do it like that instead. I think that's probably going to make more sense. Get out of here. Is that done? Yes, that's good. That's up and running. Good. Okay, so we're going to be able to sort of like get progressively quicker now. We saw in the last game how devastating it was to lose that. So we don't want that to happen again. Uh, can you just build that? Because it's never oh, it's been broken already. Well, never mind. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, that's taken out. That just managed to make that one in time. Uh, we're just going to build like another anti-air there. So we've got at least a couple of them going on. You can help fix that and get that working. That probably makes a lot more sense. Well, uh, no, I'm not worrying about energy storage, mate. I'm just going to just going to carry on building. So we've got enough. They're, they're already getting themselves up into a very a very good situation for them, I guess. We'll build one of our air things, that's fine. Okay, there we go, that's good. Can you just go ahead here and just start to kill these bastards? Take them all out, take them all out. Okay. 
they, they just ah, oh, we need we need some more defenses around there. But I tell you, I need to. The, the most important thing is to get the advanced air factory up and running, uh, which we're going to actually put. We're going to tuck it in here in the back, I think, because then it can't be like messed with at all. Put it there. That's good. Now we can just start working on that in the background here. Uh, is there anything else that we can do in the meantime? There really, really isn't, is there? We just, we need, I mean, I know we need to get some more land stuff sorted out. We'll see if we can get that built without it getting attacked. Hopefully that's going to be okay. It looks like it will. Just about. Oh, man. Yeah, he might actually get attacked, which would be very, very difficult for us. But the good news is that the guys that we have working here at the moment are going to be a bit stronger it looks like because we've got this uh, this advanced air factory coming up nice and quick so if we can just survive for a little bit longer then we're going to be okay that's it yeah move around that side i wish they would automatically build on the wrong side like the side that they didn't have to build on that would be make things a hell of a lot easier for god's sake get out of here yeah now our our, uh, <laughs> our energy is being attacked again we don't have anything to take care of them at all anything at all which which makes it even more difficult unfortunately uh, even more difficult but never mind never mind we'll carry on and hopefully we will get that done now we don't have to worry too much the fact that we have the 50% uh, extra health for uh, air units makes it uh, gonna, like a little bit easier, hopefully, to survive. I hope. <laughs> uh, right, these guys, we're going to give them orders to put in more of these bad boys that we were supposed to have. Just just two to start off with. But at least they've both got the orders, so they can, they can get on with that. You help him. Or should we get him to help with that? No, that's, that's fine. That's, this is fine. This is, this is going to be okay. I think. The uh, advanced air factory is almost complete. <clears throat> and then once that's done, we can look into some more difficult build stuff, I guess. There we go. Fantastic. Right. There is there's now anti-land air anti -land here. And there as well now, which is great. Uh, they've been taken out, which is lovely. <laughs> it's just the way these things go, unfortunately. Okay. So we're going to get these guys to come across. We'll build another one here. Super fast. They're going to reclaim whatever's there. And they're going to start building it. There we go. But they're not going to get a chance to build it, so we're going to pull them back. We're going to do a little bit of repair work. Which they don't even get a chance to do anyway, so whatever. Uh, right, fabrication aircraft, advanced one. Let's get a couple of those put over here somewhere. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. Bubble quick to anti... Okay, uh, air transport. Don't need that. Bomb equipped with advanced anti land and anti naval. Gunship with strong anti ground, no anti air capabilities. That's probably the, the thing that we want to go with. Like that, just have like a crap ton of those. Chip for the hell of it, why not? There's now a fire and some sign of a unit over there as well. Get out of here. <laughs> like the advanced fabricators. Hopefully, there'll be something interesting we'll be able to build. Maybe some uh, advancements to our metal and energy production. Which should be really, really good. That's it. Taking those guys out. Which is awesome. Okay. Right, so we've got a guy. We've got a guy. Catapult. Tactical missile launcher. Yes, please. Wait, no. We need to, we need to do... There's more important things. <laughs> uh, advanced metal extractor. Can you just, just, like, slap that on somewhere? I oh, know you can't build it there because I built that... I tucked that in again, didn't I? Oh, you died. Well, that's just absolutely fantastic, isn't it? God damn it. Advanced energy plant? No, the advanced energy plants just are regular ones, so that's fine. Um, oh, this is good. Advanced turret equipped anti-air. Yeah. Build one of those. Build, like, a load of those, actually. Build three of them. Because they seem pretty cool. Nope. Just build the goddamn thing that I tell you to do. God damn it. This game has got this really weird lag thing going on here. This is so annoying. Oh, that's dead. Great. Can you both take care of it, please? Thank you very much. 
I think the last time we played, the only reason why we were actually managing to keep alive was because of the amount of uh, production we had, along with uh, kind of like repetitive construction of the vehicles. But that's fine. I'm not worried too much. But you can get these uh, these anti blah blahs, <laughs> these anti flat cannons up. Um, can we do any any more kind of really cool construction? Oh, these these are the fighters actually. These aren't even the bloody anti air anymore. Oh, come on. Well, let's just go and take these gunships and just mess people up a little bit. Let's have a look on the put them out. Right, okay, that's us there. That's nice. Yeah, just kill us. Kill us all. Just take us all out. Why not? Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh man, this is this is really really this is really ridiculous. <clears throat> so we'll carry on as we normally do. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up actually. I'm gonna take these out because we don't like them. They're not even they're not even being very helpful. We're going to use it just to get some advanced tech stuff going on. We'll send this guy over to, I don't know where, some random place. Bugger off down there. Just see if we can just do something like that. be quite cool. Why, why has our metal production gone really far down? It's because we've lost that one there. Okay. Let's reclaim that and build a new metal fabrication thing your bob That would probably be the best port of call, the best way to take care of this. And then once that's been done, we will move on and try to get some advanced ones in its stead with the uh, advanced airbot that's going to be built up very shortly. And then we'll have to get something to Additional defend those. I hear ya. I hear ya. Because uh, we don't need to worry too much about this stuff here. We can, we can live without it. But what we want to do is make sure that this guy survives. And we can go with the advanced metal here and here. Just work on the thing that I'm telling you to work on, man. For God's sake, it's not that difficult. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just have the one. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we'll go with that. These guys seem to be doing a reasonable amount of defense work, which is good. He's taking a couple of hits, but we're going to sort of push ourselves back over this way a little bit. Uh, it looks like that's going to be a more sensible way of taking care of business. Uh, can you make sure that you're putting things over here, both of you? That flamethrower is not going to get a chance to attack us, which is good. I realize one minute is required. I'm trying to build some, but you're not letting me get a chance. In fact, if we just stop this after the one that it's building, that would probably make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Like that, that's in a very good place. That's done well. There we go. So we've now got a positive metal reinforcement, which is great. So we'll get this guy to come in. We'll get him to help. help just help the commander, because I can't be asked to worry about clicking on things. Uh, there we go. That's been taken care of. So now we'll do that. We'll get you to help him. And the metal production that we've got coming in now is a lot better. It's not quite there yet, but it's a lot better. Well, we, I mean, they, they just get lost every single time, so there's nothing we can do about that, really. But what we can do is get some more of these guys in there. And in fact, we might just start building things. Yes, we can. We can start building things here without having to worry too much about losing all the goddamn energy and stuff. <clears throat> so there we go, that's that's good. It's keeping everything at bay temporarily. I think our commander can actually go and build metal down there, but it looks like if we can get this advanced stuff done, we don't really need to, which is very good. Once you've built that, can you actually get me a couple of energy factories, please? Uh, we'll just get one, like... We're getting just like alongside one another or something, maybe? What do you think? Like here? Like this? Like two of them? That's probably quite quite a good way of doing things, isn't it? Just like two alongside one another. <clears throat> yeah, you just keep on taking the trees out like that. Yep, yep, tree, 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 die trees, la la la. Okay, anti-nuke launcher. That's a thought. Advanced long-range anti-missiles. Let's get this advanced radar up. That's probably worth worth building. We'll probably get the next one to do a bit of patrolling to sort of fix up some of these guys they're having not the best time in the world. You can still build that there? Oh, that's perfect. Lovely. Okay. Right, well, I guess the best thing for us to do 
is to get a real nice large collection of tanks. <laughs> like we did before. Because <clears throat> I think that's going to that's gonna work out really nicely. It looks like we couldn't actually build that vehicle factory there. I didn't think that it would be possible. But I can have like this one like back. Like that there. Can you just go and fix things? Can you just like patrol this area? And just like fix... No, 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 no. Fix this. Additional metal extractors required. Good. And then fix like this one. No, just get killed. Whatever. Is this flag cannon actually doing any better? No, it's, doing, it's not doing bad actually. It's definitely taking things out properly, which is nice. And the metal, the metal extractors are are okay. Or the ones we've got here at least are. So the second vehicle factory is now live. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these guys, we're going to get them to both move over here, and we're going to just start doing our age-old tactic of building a crap ton of these bad boys, and a crap ton of these bad boys, and just let it, let it do its thing, because I think that's probably the best way of doing it, I reckon. I see a shadow. Do you guys see that? A shadow for anti-air unit, but no anti-air unit. What is that about? There's definitely nobody there, is there? That's that's the flat cannon. <clears throat> yeah, there's just nobody there. That's <laughs> so weird. Oh, wow, that's so strange. Oh well. <clears throat> it's gone now. <laughs> there's random ghosting shadows just sort of hanging around. Very, very strange. Okay. Well, at least we've now got some stuff that's being built and, uh, and being taken over there. You, help with the tanks. And then we're going to be able to get those nice and quick. That's good. That's really good. And we could just... Well, yeah, look at this. That's, that's going to be like out there in no time. That's brilliant. You're still building that, which is great. We're not going to worry... I mean, to be honest with you, I don't even need these being built. But, you know, we've got the, the uh, energy for them to, to be constructed. So we'll just carry on doing it for now. And then maybe we'll build like a nice little kind of like core collection of these flat cannons here at some point. At least that guy's now doing a good job here and getting loads of those tanks out. Because having plenty of tanks over in that section there is going to make things a hell of a lot easier to take care of business. Uh, right, what happened there? Did they just come in and destroy the one that had been built? Ugh. Great. You know what, screw it. We're not even going to worry about it. Yeah, it's just it's, it's not doing it anymore. We're just going to build like a couple of these, these basic ones. And like, we'll just use them instead. <laughs> I think that makes a whole lot more sense. Uh, it's our... It's our... Mm, that's not good. That's been taken out. Um, I wonder if we'll be able to get in there and build another one. I guess we could try. In fact, it would be good if we could build one here, actually, instead. Can you do that? Mm. Well, there's, there's, the, there's an air unit there, but he's... Yeah, he's <clears throat> oh, that's a shame. And then we don't have enough energy factories to, to sort ourselves out. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the, the direction of where our things live. Everyone's going to have to move over here instead. Uh, but that's going to be okay. I think that's going to be, probably be a bit better, actually. Because <clears throat> we can worry about some more sort of like close quarters defence here, like this kind of thing. Get this bad boy to sort of just like go over here and just be like, patrol this area, and then he'll fix things, which is good. So these guys are all heading over there. Are any more of them going to head over there, or do we need to grab them all? Need to grab them all. Uh, just be like, go there. Or just move over there. There we go. Okay, so they. So a lot of them stuck again, or what? What is going on, guys? Just get the hell over there. I don't think I'm asking for much when I ask you to bloody well move. Look, yeah, these ones are stuck again. Oh, this game, man. This game! Look at this! Well, they just have to be stuck then, whatever. I don't care. Just be stuck. Uh, at least they're, they're kind of, like, knocking about, having a good time. Well, but there's another one of these laser turrets on this side. We'll get some help on building that as well. The, the advanced radar is up. So you guys can see the staggeringly overwhelming uh, <laughs> people that they've got. Uh, which is not the best. But never mind. 
Can we actually just get uh, a flat cannon next to each of one of those as well? Like have uh, one of them like tucked in where, like next to it there? No. A bit like here, as like a first responder. That'll be good. You can build that, and then you can build a second one just down here. Yeah, that, that was that was a great place. Just just there. Great. This is actually a, <laughs> a pot that I would like to use, but I can't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build like things with close to him, because then he can just do that. Whatever. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. Uh, right. So you're actually, you're actually quite a lot of hurt, but never mind. I, just, I, don't know. I think now we've got some guys over this side, we can focus on re-sorting out our energy storage we've got here. Plenty being taken out by the anti-air that we've got there, which is fantastic. How much more? We need we need quite a lot, don't we? We need quite a lot. So let's go with this. We'll take this guy over here. And we will build an advanced energy plant. And we're just gonna slap it down like there. Like that. So he'll he'll build one. We'll get him some support as well to get it constructing. And then that hopefully will just give us a lot more energy. And we won't have to worry as much. Great, that's good. You guys are doing a great job, thank you very much. Can you all go into a formation for me? Oh, you can all move, isn't that, isn't that grand? Isn't that grand? <laughs> that's good, there we go. Uh, now, I also want to head over here now that you're finished, put you back onto tank duty. Uh, or should I get him onto that flat cannon duty? I probably should get him onto that flat cannon, shouldn't I? Yeah, there we go. You're doing a good job. We're, we're <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Are we uh, are we going to do this? Are we going to take him down? Hell yeah, we are. It's just going to take a little bit of time. That's all. We don't want to lose again because that would be a terrible thing to happen. What else can we do? We've got this. This flag hand is almost done. Once that's done, a lot of that energy uh, production there is going to go right down, which means that that uh, advanced energy production plant will go up. And then we can take these guys, this one and this one, and we can bring them over here to help with that. Oh, they've got a pelter up, it looks like. Yeah, they do. God damn it, why is there a pelter up? How is that a thing? Ah! Uh, right, okay, tactical missile launcher. Get it up. Because <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not even, I'm just like... Get the hell out of here now. Let's just do it. Everyone get involved. Can you just like patrol this? Just fix it. <laughs> just constantly fix it. Because it needs it needs support. Unfortunately, it needs support. It's a great amount of metal. Uh, I'm sorry, a great amount of energy that we're now able to build with it. Which is awesome. Uh, so this is now built. Catapult is now exactly. It's apparently it's, it's, it's actually attacking. Attacking Pelter. Oh! Oh, it's just there. You can just see it. Plain as day. But you didn't get to see the missile go off. Oh, I don't mind. That's fine. Just do it. Attack everything. I don't mind. Uh, in fact, let's put a few of them. Why not? Because uh, they're actually really, really cheap to build. So, let me go with another one here. Another one here. Another one here. Do it. Go nuts. Help him. Fantastic. There we go. Okay. Uh, actually, in fact, I want to get a little anti-air here. Just tucked in. So that's nice and defended. And we're going to start reclaiming some of these things here. Can you just get around there so I can see what you're actually doing? Uh, see, they're, they're attacking that again now. It's a little bit frustrating. Because it means that's going to be taken out. But at least we've now got a little, little selection of units here that we can uh, we can use to defend ourselves. Awesome. Take that back, please. We're going to need to build a load more of these these bad boys. So we'll just do like a little row of them, three of them, because then we're in a bit more of a defended position. This guy needs to just repair this because it is actually being hurt quite badly by that pelter. These guys are, they, they do seem to be attacking the Pelter. It says they're attacking the Pelter, but I think they need more energy. I think that's currently the problem. So 
But there we go. They've got they've got enough. Yeah, there we go. Right, they're all they've all they've all shot. They've all shot their missiles. Man, they all they're all just like going for those things over there. Oh, nice. That's great. That's perfect. Look at that. What's the range on those things? Oh, it's it's a decent decent range. Attacking Pelter, attacking Pelter, attacking Pelter. Apparently. Uh, what happened to that thing? Did it get taken out? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, right, okay. So let's just... Go over here. Oh, they, are, they, are, they are working on it. They are working on it. Okay, that's fine. So, every, so we're now, now actually able to, to keep things working, it looks like. Just about able to keep things on, on, it, on their toes. Uh, how are we going to be able to take out that Pelter? It looks like everybody's it's just a bit far away from everybody. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll tuck one in just sort of like here. And get it get it built. Get it built by everybody, please. Help it. <laughs> For God's sake, help it. Okay, there we go. So if that can go up there. No, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. It's gonna get up before you can destroy it. And then we're going to start repairing it. We're all going to start repairing it. And now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? Yeah, Pelter Annihilated. There you go. That's taking care of business. Okay, that's good. We're going to put an anti-air next to it as well. Uh, just like there. Going to get some help with that. Going to get our commander to come around. Just a little bit of help with that as well. Just going to get him to sort of come straight through here, I think. And help it. Meanwhile, those guys are doing a good job, which is fantastic to see. Do we have any more? Oh god, those things aren't taking no, no business from nobody. Uh, well, this this is this is this is definitely going a lot better than the last game did. I'll tell you that for now. Uh, right, okay, so that's fine. Anti-nuclear missile. I guess we should probably use one of those. Technically, uh, let's just whack that. Oh, this is only going to defend the, the section of the base that we can see. So, like, here. Or, like, here would be good. But it doesn't need to be that high. It could be, like, here. Or... Here? No. Let's go with, like... Let's go with, like, here. That covers everything, doesn't it? There we go. To put that up there, just in case. Just in case we need it. Uh, do we have any other anti air? Well, tell you what, we'll just get that guy to work on that on his own. And then we can carry on working on some other advanced support. We've got an even bigger laser turret that we can put out here. That's fantastic. Look at that. It's going to be massive. We'll repair that a little bit. Good work. Good work. That's going to get repaired. Looks like we're just about to support ourselves now. And that tower's going up real quick. And it is massive. It is absolutely massive this okay well this is great so what we'll do now is we'll move up a little bit more put another one in just like here and then that will hopefully mean in fact I want to change that a little bit I'm gonna put it up here instead there we go and then we can just get killed yeah that's that's great thanks <laughs> How did I know that that was going to happen? Let's see if we can get there in time. Probably won't be able to, but it's worth a shot. Is that still being built? No, it's not still being built. Okay, it's time for a couple more of our advanced air dudes. Whilst this guy... It's probably more important for you to fix this. Uh, but you don't be getting there in time anyway, so don't worry about it. That's fine. Okay, let's just do a little bit more fixing. A little bit more fixing up. Can we just uh, double-click this? Uh, double clicking doesn't work anymore, which is weird. Use, use. Okay, so you can shift double click. Okay, shift double click works. And so we can just say, everybody, just move up a little bit over here, because you're getting all in, all up in our base. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so everybody's now in like a formation, which is nice. Let's take out the first, ru the first wave. Well, let's just push them up there, so that we know that anything that we build over there is definitely not going to get taken out. That's very important. Okay, we've got a couple of these guys. We're going to build one, one for him build one for him because we now have the ability to support that kind of drain which is great our commander is not really doing anything we only actually need to have one more so that's fine that's that is actually just one being done which is great these guys are all just looks like fighting like some sort of cause 
Yeah, all these anti-air are going to be taken out. All these, all these, rather, the air is going to be taken out by the anti-air. So that's good. Take out that single solitary laser turret. That's defending all of their metal here. Great, here we go. Look, this is it. This is awesome. There's a couple of things here that we're not going to worry too much about, I don't think. I don't know what's going to be over here. I have no idea. But we're going to go have a look. Because there might be some stuff that's worth destroying over here. It looks like the, their base is more likely to be sort of like clustered like that there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter too much. Because as we go through, there was a radar there just knocking about randomly. If we kind of just head out... Let's see, if we go... Let's let's send them like to this. I don't know which way they're going to go to get there. But they will they will take things out whilst they, whilst they walk, which is good. Or rather whilst they march. The base is, is fine. The base is taking care of building some more of those guys for me, which is perfect. So we'll let them do that. I'm going to get through these uh, these craggly old rocks, hopefully, here. Uh, everything's, like, uh, struggling a little bit right now, but that's fine. Take that guy out. <laughs> hopefully we'll get him. Yeah, every, everything is, is having a bit of a bit of a, bit of a fuss here. Oh, they've all managed to work a, work a new route out, actually, which is good. So we're all heading down. We're all marching the correct way. If we go to True North, and you guys will be able to get a good position about where we're going. We're heading sort of like a southerly direction. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to re regroup all my units on this side over here. So that can be taken out and we can all be in a good position to do the final push. That's it. Great. Take that out as well. Why not? Take the whole lot. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Everyone's getting into position. The anti-air is trying its best to take us out. But it's not doing a good job, which is good. <coughs> but we're going to carry on marching, because we're now in a, in a better position. We're going to see how much damage we can actually do here to their base, or one of their bases anyway. We're not even in it yet. They're so, so far away in comparison to this. But what we can do is just mess with them a little bit. Plenty of anti-air, stopping those air attacks, which is great. Is there actually a base around here somewhere? I, th I feel like that's where their base is, or at least one of their bases is. So we're going to just carry on pushing in. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we're actually we're actually doing pretty well here. This is, this is going surprisingly well. Guys that are, are trying to attack us aren't even getting close. Here we go. There's a commander here. There is a commander here. We can't attack from there, so we're going to have to just keep on pushing through like this. And just keep on smashing at him. Hopefully, he'll get taken the hell out. And everybody fire on him. Everybody fire on him all at once. Barrage of shots. Barrage of shots. He's going down. He's going down. He's off. He's done. Everybody move out of the way. The massive explosion. Okay, that's one commander taken out. Thank God for that. <laughs> Thank God for that. Okay, well, we're just going to take that out. That's good. So it looks like all of their, whatever their units were, are being annihilated, which is great. So now I'm thinking, where is the other commander? Probably, like, there or something. Uh, let's just, we'll send these guys that way. We've, we've lost everybody now anyway, so that's fine. So we're going to head back to our base over here. Notice the fact that we now have an additional wad of units, which is great. Uh, we'll move them up a little bit. Everybody's happy. Everybody's doing their own thing. <clears throat> uh, what else is going on over here that we need to be aware of? Let's go back into True North. Where's our commander? Is he just sort of like hanging around in the centre there somewhere, it looks like? Uh, if I could see him, there he is. Yeah. So he's just chilling out. Is there anything else that I want to build for now? I don't think there is. It looks like our, our tanks have stopped actually, actually stopped producing. So we'll get a load more going like that, and we will have the commander help with the tanks, because that will be even quicker than the other one, and we'll just get the other one to do that, do its thing. Now, everybody here, we're all going to go and have a little adventure, see if we can find out where the hell they are. We're not allowed to the radar randomly, I don't know how that worked, but it did. You all going to go through the water? No, no you're not, you're not that stupid are you, come on, come on. I think you might be like up here somewhere, we're going to have to go like round the lake. 
So that's it, everybody is doing like a round the lake thing, which is good. If we just sort of do that and just completely navigate around the round the lake and have a look on this side, there might be something around there we can take a look at. <clears throat> that's good. Some of their anti-land units are being destroyed here. Do you need more help, guys? Shall I have you... If I put you sort of out a little bit more in a wider wider stance, then maybe you'll be able to all kind of, like, renegotiate yourselves a little bit. They are coming in for an air attack, as you guys can see on the radar there. No chance of any any real major destruction to us, which is fantastic. Now, that all seems to be coming from, the from like, down over here. Is that the, the, the one place that we can't actually currently see? This way. What's down there? What can't, what can't we actually currently see? Let's, ch let's have a look. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this might actually be somewhere on the map that there isn't anything right now. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, there is. That looks like there actually just isn't anything there. So we'll, we'll carry on doing what we were doing. We'll carry on going the way that we were going. If we see anything else in the meantime, then we will attack them and destroy them. And <laughs> it will be good. It will be glorious. Well, I think once you get a consistent stronghold with a good amount of defences and a consistent level of production going on, then it's it's really, you really do okay. He hopes. He strongly, strongly hopes. I'm just going to go up here and see what these little eye things are all about. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what they do. So we're going to find out. Is it just all this metal production that's going on over here? It looks like it might be. Yeah, it is. It's just metal production. Okay, well, we don't care about that too much. You can have your metal production. We found him. We found their commander. He's just sitting there doing nothing. Well, you're making this too easy for me, my friend. You're making this a hell of a lot too easy for me. Well, uh, we'll, we'll say our goodbyes. We'll say our, we'll say our rest in peace. We'll say au revoir. Uh, we'll, say, we'll say bon voyage. And... Uh, Kaboom. That is fantastic. Look at that. Destroyed, ladies and gentlemen. Destroyed. That is fantastic. Well, we managed to take care of it. We have ridded that planet of all of its uh, damage and stuff. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. And we, we, we were awarded an additional data bank for the loss as well, which is flipping flabulous. Um, we could, I mean, to be honest with you, for us to be able to do anything, we're going to have to fight another attack anyway. Um, so that's fine. We can we can definitely look at doing that. Let's definitely look at taking care of business, as they say. But for now, we're going to end it there. It's been fun. We've we've managed to do quite a lot of uh, of damage. We've we've got a real feel for the way that the advanced system works. I think it was a bit of a shame that we lost the original playthrough, but we are now in the same sort of position where we won our first fight. We're feeling a bit more confident about our attacks, and hopefully, we'll be able to take out the next commander in the same fashion. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Calf of the Calfcast. Don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying the series. And make sure that you like and share the videos because you have no idea how much it helps us out. Until next time, take it easy, guys. You've been watching the Calfcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.